Hello students, you are welcome to the first class of Plant Taxonomy. The title of the first unit is Classical Taxonomy. In this class, you are going to study aim and scope of taxonomy, a brief history of taxonomy, species concept, and taxonomic hierarchies. At the end, you are going to understand the past history of plant taxonomy. You will be in a position to identify the species and different types of species and their characteristic features and different types of taxonomic ranks used in plant classifications and you will be in a position to define the taxa like order, family, genus, species, etc. And you will understand the process of plant taxonomy. The term taxonomy was coined by A.P. D. Candle in 1813. Classification, identification, description and naming of plants are the basis of plant taxonomy. The classical taxonomy is also called as alpha taxonomy or descriptive taxonomy. Now the scope of taxonomy in establishing the phylogenetic relationship that exist naturally between many groups of plants and naming plants using nomenclature principles and rules of ICN. It has a wide importance in the field of biodiversity, agriculture, horticulture, forestry, biotechnology and plant breeding. Aims of taxonomy. The first one is to provide a convenient method of identification and communication. To provide a classification based on natural affinities. To provide a single scientific name to every plant group. To provide an inventory of plant taxa by means of floras. And last one is to provide training to the students of botany. Now the steps in taxonomy. The characterization is the first one. Here the collection of information from the fields like morphology, anatomy, cytology, embryology, palynology, phytochemistry and other branches of botany. Now the second step is identification. The identification of plants is done using various taxonomic tools like keys, herbaria, flora, etc. And the third step is classification. Here the arrangement of plants or plant groups according to a system of classification. Here similar species are put in a single genera. Similarly many genera, similar genera are put in a family and similar families in an order and similar orders in a class and similar classes in a division and so on. And the fourth step is nomenclature, that is naming plants according to the rules of nomenclature. The history of taxonomy. The earliest taxonomy, which was usually based on the knowledge on the edible and poisonous plants. 
Materia Medica, a book compiled by Shenneng, an emperor from China who described 365 medicines derived from minerals, plants and animals. Around 1500 BC, medicinal plants were illustrated on the wall paintings in Egypt. In India, during the Vedic period, the classical works like Ayurveda, Charaka Samhita, Shushruta Samhita, Rukshayur Veda are the important works done in India. The Greek and Roman period. Here, Aristotle first to classify all living things. Then, Theophrastus described 480 species of plants in Dehistoria plantarum. Then Dioscorides described 600 species of plants in D. Materia Medica. Similarly, Plinus used Latin names in his book Naturalis Historia. Now the Herbalis Age. William Turner, commonly called as Father of English Botany, published a new herbal which comprises the description of many medicinal plants. Andrew Cisolpino described 1500 species of plants in D. plantis. And Jean Bahin compiled Historia Plantarum Universalis, where he described many medicinal plants. Then John Grigard described medicinal and aromatic grasses as well as the herbs. Cisalpino, the first taxonomist, wrote D. plantis, a work which contained 1500 species. Bohin brothers made a register of medicinal plants which included about 6000 plant species. John Ray described 1,800 species of medicinal plants. Joseph Tornefort, he described about 9,000 species coming under 698 genera. Now, the Linnaean era. Carolinus Linnaeus. It is the starting point of modern taxonomy. He published Species Plantarum in 1753 and in 1758 he published Systema Naturae and for the first time he used the binary names called tribal names both for plants as well as animals and he classified the plant kingdom under 25 classes. In the post linnaean era, D. Jassiu, who published Genera Plantarum with a natural system of plant classification. Then, A. P. D. Candol published for the first time the rules of nomenclature. Then, George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker published a natural system of plant classification in genera plantarum which is popular even today. Then Adolf Engler and Carl Planter published a semi-phylogenetic system of classification in their classical work Dinaturlican Flanzen Familian. After the publication of Darwin's theory of evolution, the many phylogenetic systems of plant classifications have been published by many taxonomies. The notable taxonomists are John Hutchinson, Ormond Taktajan, Arthur Cranquist, Dahlgren, and so on. Angiosperm phylogeny group of classification. This is the modern and the recent one. And here, APG1, 
2 3 4 have been published so far and these classifications are strongly based on molecular data like dna sequences of two chloroplast genes and one nuclear gene now about the species concept the characteristic features of a species the species is considered as a fundamental unit of taxonomic classification species is the basic unit of evolutionary process a population of organisms which closely resemble each other they descend from a common ancestor in sexually reproducing organisms they interbreed freely in nature producing fertile offsprings in asexually reproducing organisms they can be identified by their morphological similarities in case of fossil organisms they are identified by their morphological and anatomical similarities now the types of species the first one is biological species these are groups of populations that interbreed and reproductively isolated from other such groups in nature the second one is the morphological species or taxonomic species here the individuals are like one another in one or more features and different from other these species are defined and categorized with a no knowledge of phylogenetic history gene flow or detailed reproductive mechanisms the third one is the phylogenetic species here the phylogenetic species is defined as an evolutionary species and is a lean single lineage of ancestor descendant populations which maintains its identity from other such lineages which has its own evolutionary tendencies and historical fate now the taxonomic hierarchies or taxonomic ranks which are used in classification systems it is the arrangement of various taxonomic levels in descending order starting from kingdom up to the species the code defines taxon as any taxonomic group at any rank like variety species genus family kingdom where taxonomic group is a group of organisms in a classification the different levels of ranks are level 1 it includes principal ranks level 2 includes secondary ranks whereas level 3 includes additional ranks the principal ranks the principal ranks of taxa in descending sequence are kingdom division class order family genus species the principal ranks of a hybrid taxa are notogenous and notospecies these ranks are the same as genus and species the prefix noto indicates the hybrid character species is the lowest of classification and shows the high level of similarities among the organisms the genus consists of multiple species which have similar characters but differ from the species of another genus family comprises several genera which share some similarities among them order includes groups of families 
which show less similarities among them. Class consists of groups of orders which share few similarities. Division is the next level of classification that consists of number of classes. Kingdom is the highest level or rank of classification system. In the secondary ranks, the ranks are used to divide larger groups. The secondary ranks in descending sequence are from family and below. Large family may be divided into tribes, larger genus into sections, section into series, series into variety, variety into forma. The additional ranks. If greater number of taxa is desired, the terms for these are made by adding the prefix sub to the terms denoting the principal as well as secondary ranks. For example, subkingdom, subdivision, subclass, suborder, subfamily, subgenus, subspecies, and so on. ICN has made certain recommendations related to the abbreviations for these taxa as shown here. Class, order, family, tribe, genus, section, series, species, variety, forma and so on. Thank you.